Some of the most stunning backdrops for holiday pictures and moments are right here in San Antonio. And the best part, they're free to you. All you need is a cell phone or just a regular camera. You can get something that looks like a professional took the picture. Speaking of pros, joining us now is Non Palmero, photographer. You know how to get the perfect picture. I'd like to think so, yeah. You have won several prestigious awards. Your photos have been featured across the globe, and you recently right. won Samsung and Getty Images Photographer of the Year. That's right. That's so right. as a world traveler, San Antonio is still one of your favorite spots for pictures. It, it's beautiful, and it's always changing. The, the city continues to grow, and it's really a vibrant time for the city. So there's always a new canvas. Would you say, when it comes to pro tips, is there a time of day when pictures are best to... Your be it's the best time to take pictures? My favorite are, are at night. Um, I really love that because you can really bring out the colors of the lights, particularly during the holiday season. And the river walk, you recommend a specific time of the year, and it's not right now. Right. It, it's actually right after Christmas when, uh -huh. when everyone's kind of gone home, but the lights are still up. So they're up through the beginning of January, and that's a great time to go because there's n the crowds aren't there, and there's less of a chance of falling in the river. So <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Have you ever snapped a picture of someone falling in? No. I always wonder how often that happens. And I'm thankful. I haven't been in it either. <laughs> so really, if you're taking pictures for next Christmas season to send out, right, right after this Christmas will be the best time to take a family picture Absolutely. along the river Absolutely. Absolutely. The lights are there, and there's still, there's still some movement in the background, so you get to, to capture some really beautiful stuff, but you don't have to deal with the crowds. We have some of your favorite places yeah. to take pictures with family and friends, so we're sure. going to start showing those and kind of tell us what we're looking at. That What did you do there? That is stunning. Yes, the that, that was a, a slow shot right there by Hotel Contessa. Uh, that That as well, so that same location, it's the same place, but just from a different angle. Those two shots were taken the same place. So that's on top of Navarro Street by the Aztec Theater, and that's one of the river stops. And what did you use to take these pictures? So I use a Sony camera to shoot with, with this, uh, but an iPhone is perfect as well, particularly and the new ones. What setting would you put it on to get that kind of effect yeah, with the to, lights? So to get that, that kind of streaking light effect, uh -huh. you're shooting with, with a, a slower um, time. Uh, like a time lapse? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then freeze it? Do you think it's, it's better to take pictures at night because of all the Christmas lights and the colorful lights? I, I really love it. That, that for me is the, is the most exciting time is really bringing the, those colors to life because that's how people remember it. Yeah. What do you think is more important if you're taking a group picture? Is it how you all look individually or is it the background? Can you fix anything with filters now? Filters are magic, so uh -huh. you really can get a lot out of that. Um, but I, I like to make sure that everyone's eyes are open. I think that's well, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's that, how you that's take a big, That's the biggest thing for me is to do that. And if you're if you start to get halfway decent at Photoshop, you can take a few of them and uh -huh. put eyes on on top of people and make sure everyone's eyes are open. You can put you can put people's eyes open on different things. Have you had to do that before? I may have done it once or twice. So where can people go? Is there any place people can check out um, the pictures that you've taken around Absolutely. the world in the city? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, my photos are on Flickr, mm -hmm. uh, so it's f l i c k r dot com, mm -hmm. and then just search for Non Palmero, and you will find thousands of photos that I've shot around the world. And you have a pretty funny Facebook page too. Uh, yes, like our thirty thousand followers. Yes, we yeah. have a lot of followers. We do a lot of uh, very funny Facebook live videos for office furniture liquidations, and uh, people are coming in and going bananas and laughing at our videos. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. And now we know how to take the perfect picture. So I'd rather you take it. You're going to take it. <laughs> David, Jeanette. <laughs>